Welcome back to my channel, Snooty Vegans, where I will talk about my lock journey, being a vegan, and also life as I know it. So exciting news, my one month lock anniversary was last Wednesday. So I got to get my hair washed and I also went to my loctician to get my first retwist. So let me tell you, it has definitely been a process. I don't um, even know what that means. I definitely have been wearing a scarf a lot. What do you um, think I'm doing? It's been interesting as far as like trying to figure out my confidence with the comb coils. It's not ne necessarily a, a hairstyle that I'm used to. Um, so I don't necessarily feel like it's an ugly phase, but I definitely don't feel as confident as I had with some other hairstyles in the past. So that's the first thing, but let me show you my retwist and my locks as they are now. So again, I'm one month in, I was one month in last Wednesday. So I'm actually almost five weeks in this coming Wednesday and today's Monday. So you can see all of my grays, <laughs> but you can see like she did the retwist. You can see this one is super long and a little like unraveling already. And then this one is super long, the little unraveling already. But then I had exciting news. She said like a couple of these in the back, like this one, this one right here, and this one right here are actually budding. So I'm a little excited about that because I didn't know that any of them were starting to bud. So that's really cool. So again, you can see she did a really good job with the retwist. I'm actually hoping that at one, at some point I'll be able to do it myself um, just out of you know, convenience as far as like having to travel and, and pay for, um, when I say travel, it's like 20 minutes. And the truth so, <laughs> shall set you let free. Me show you, let me show you the back. <laughs> so there it is. That's my one month. I can't lie. I always want to kind of like push this side over to the side kind of. And there's one lock, let me show you this one. <laughs> Where is it? It's doing its own thing at the end. And it's kind of like this one right here. Look at that, that one is doing kind of its own thing on the end. It's kind of really thin, so I'm a little concerned, but I'm sure it'll work itself out. So I've been uh, working out. Uh, so when I work out, I actually tie down my hair and they say you're supposed to leave it on until it dries, but I don't leave it on that long because I feel like my hair is just continuing to sweat. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just take it off and then when I get in the shower, I feel like the moisture from the shower kind of keeps it moisturized, if that makes sense. Um, let's see what else. So I did have a little bit of itchy scalp and a little bit of dandruff. So that was um, very aggravating, but my loctician said if I just keep putting oil on my scalp, then my scalp will eventually kind of like adjust and change along with my my locks. So I'm excited about that. Um, let's see. I'm hopeful that they continue to kind of like grow. I said that they shrink and I'm waiting for that um, to happen because I'm curious like how much they're going to shrink. Because I felt like after this one month retwist, it kind of uh, lengthened them a little bit. They look a little bit longer than they did before. Um, so I'm very excited to see uh, and wait for the next month. So she said to do every month until they lock and then I can kind of um, spread it out a little further, the time between the, my retwists. So we shall see. Let me see what else. Itching scalp. Uh, some of them were starting to unravel, especially the ones like around my edges. Um, and like I said, these two are just doing their own thing because it's kind of like a different texture around this part of my hair. A little more of a loose texture um so i'm kind of you know they're growing on me as far as like the look of them um because that's been an adjustment for me um i'm used to like natural curly hair that i've had i've had really short hair i've had a little bit longer hair but it's been natural for over thir almost 13 years now so that's been an adjustment uh let's see what else what else what else um, so any, any tips or suggestions you have for like itchy scalp, I would love. Um, if you do a uh, workout and your scalp tends to sweat, let me know what you do um, to maintain them while you're working out and after you work out. Uh, any suggestions you might have of like in between the wash time as far as 
upkeep or anything to kind of soothe my scalp would be great because I know the oil doesn't really like make it feel good and clean. It just, you know, stops the itching a little bit, but it doesn't do anything for like my dandruff. So that would be great. So that is my update. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. If you're just starting out your journey and have any questions about the first month, I would be happy to answer any com any questions that you might have. I got it! Please leave comments and suggestions and tips as far as like what to do in the second month. If there's anything that you noticed or discovered about your own locks, that's helpful tips and information for me. And I'm still really excited about this journey and hopeful that um, trusting the process like everybody says really works. I know it does so far. I'm really excited to continue. And I hope that you come along with me on this journey and learn about my locks. And then eventually I will be posting some content about my vegan lifestyle as well. So thank you for joining Snoots. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And like I said, make sure that you comment, like, <laughs> and subscribe to my channel if you haven't so far. So that's about it. I will be back in a few days with another video and looking forward to month two. Peace out. Goodbye. <laughs>